how to use smart sheet hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm showing you around smart sheet how you can use smart sheet to create your sheets for school projects and for your work and we will be discussing how the dashboard of smart sheet works and how you can actually use different features of Smartsheet as a beginner. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to come to Smartsheet.com and you can try this Smartsheet version for free and you can actually buy a plan as well. So to buy a plan, let me just take you to the pricing real quick and show you that if you want to buy a plan, how much it's going to cost you. So guys, you can see right here that this is the pricing for a smart sheet. The pro plan is $7 per user per month and business plan is $25 per user per month. And there is an enterprise plan in which your features will be customized. All of the different features of smart sheet are given below for, you know, buying a plan. You can check out these different features and you, if you want to contact and, you know, get a customized feature as well, you can do that. And once you have selected your plan, you can simply sign up for Smartsheet. I'm going to use their free plan. So let's go to the dashboard for Smartsheet. Now this is where Smartsheet looks like. You can see the view is very similar to Google Sheets that people are familiar with and we use but Smartsheet actually gives you a lot of other features and you can actually create amazing sheets for your school or for your work or any business that you're doing. You can actually you know create these very professional sheets on Smartsheet. Sheet. So let me show you around the dashboard. So what happens is you can see this is the home option in which you will simply click on home where you will see different sheets and different projects that you have actually created. And if you have any invite requests from other teams and maybe a project, uh, you are invited to a project, you have a link that is shared, you will see everything right here. This is the home page. If I want to create a new sheet, a new project, what I have to do is simply click on create and when you click on create you can select a grid from here you select the dashboard if you want to go ahead and select a grid if you want to select a project cards report forms task list and dashboard portal so these are different templates and sheets that you get on Smartsheet. you can actually go ahead and create a report sheet a form sheet which is in the form of a professional forms that we give out if you want to create a card or if you want to create a dashboard portal so you select here let's go with dashboard portal and i'm going to give my dashboard new name so for now let's just give it a name demo and I'm going to click on OK. So now they're saving this up and now they will create this dashboard for me for my portal sheet that I want to create. And it will just take a moment. So you can see right here that my portal dashboard, which is named demo, has been opened right here. Now they're asking me to get a preview of how I can actually create it. And you can actually, you know, visualize data in chart and surface key metrics, centralize important files, links and Smartsheet items, embed YouTube videos, Smartsheet forms and more. So I'm going to add a widget right here and we're going to start working on this dashboard. So what's going to happen? is I will just simply click on add widget and now this is the dashboard where I will be working this is my canvas so what's going to happen is let's create something a chart so I will click on chart and I can actually you know go ahead and place it so this is the chart that I have selected I'm going to add data right here now the data source if I have a source that I want to search, which I already have created, I have a data source, I will just simply go ahead and select from my already created reports, the sheets that I have already made. What's going to happen is that I can get the data and then turn it into a chart right here. So I have a sheet which is called a school sheet. And in that I have a lecture and lesson data that I added. So I'm going to convert that sheet into this chart data and it will show me you do actually don't have to you know go ahead and create the bars yourself Smartsheet will do that for you so they're just creating a chart for me for a sheet that i already have created it's super simple all you have to do is just select any of the sheet if you want to add a new sheet you can just go ahead and add it and then you can just create a chart for that as well so once I click on OK, select data cannot be charted. Please select new range. OK. So they're asking me to kind of select another data for it. But 
all you have to do is just you click on add data and your uh, data will be added because unfortunately the, the sheet that i have created what happens is you need two types of data of course one will be on the axis and one will be on the y it's horizontal and vertical in simple words so what's going to happen is make sure that create a chart you will actually need a data which can be converted into a chart form other than that you don't have to do anything what happens is smart sheet does everything for you you just add the data that you already have and once you do that you can actually create a chart widget now if i do not want to create a chart widget and i actually want to add another i will just simply click on add widget and i can go ahead and add metrics reports title rich text and shortcuts as well so whatever i want to add images i can add image so whatever i want to add i will just simply click on add widget from this option right here and you can add whatever you want to your dashboard right here so once you're done with all of these different settings for example i wanted to add metrics it works the same way add data and then we click on add data and then we select a sheet and it tells us whether it can be converted into the widget i had selected for example grid data or metrics or charts if it cannot be converted into such outlook or layout then they will let you know that okay this data cannot be converted into a chart form that happened to us before so once you you have selected a grid form or anything you select on okay and it can be converted or it cannot be you can see this this one actually got converted now my data has been converted into a metric widget which is going to look like this so this is how you add widgets on your smart sheet super simple and once you're done with that you click on save so we're back at home now i have two things for example this demo you will actually see all of your projects right here i have two projects one is the sheet i created and the other one is the demo that we just created right now again if i want to create another i will simply click on create and we'll be able to create it so you can see the option of browse right here in the browse you can actually browse through different sheets and workspaces that you have created for example these are the different sheets and here i will see different workspaces is that i have created now the good thing about smartsheet is you're not just getting a sheet platform a sheet creating software you are actually managing your workspaces as well so smartsheet actually works as a project manager as well and you can create these amazing sheets and these charts for your work as well and for your business so that's pretty good so what happens is if i go back to home and let me show you around a dashboard a little bit more so let's go to my school sheet and let me show you how a simple sheet looks like and how you can add different elements to your sheet so right here i'm going to tell you how you can add different elements to your sheet right here you can see if i want to add a text i will simply click right here and i can just add the text if i want to add it right here i will select this box you can see if i want to attach a file i am getting the option as well you just select from these little icons right here if i want to add a comment if i want to add set a reminder for that i can just select from these different options given here then you will see the same options right here as well you will see the option of comment where i can actually add comments to a certain task and different subtask that if i want to add a attachment any attachments a video or a link or a file i can just simply attach from here then you will see the option of proofs right here where you can upload your proof files then there is an update request if you have a request and if you got a new request from your team member or other sheet then you can you will see them right here then there is an option of publish where you actually publish your sheet to a team or to a business email or if you want to upload your smart sheet and make it public then you can do that as well and then activity log and then you will see the option of summary right here above you see all of these different options for example this is a grid view if i want to get another view i can just go ahead and get other views there are different views available for example gantt card and calendar view i'm going with card view and let me show you how card view looks like you can see right here this is what the card view looks like if i want to get a calendar view then i will get a calendar view which will be a According to different dates, the task have been created 
too so they will be you know according to different dates and it is a calendar view then you can see the option of filter right here if i want to filter any of the sheet and products that i already have created i will see them right here so once if you want to go to file automation and forms you will get the option right above here below you see the options of launcher where you actually you know launch different workspaces and different sheets if you want help you click right here and this is your account option again if i want to create a new sheet i can click on this place icon and this is the solution center and i can just go ahead and create a new sheet let's go to the card view and okay so you can see right here if i want to view a task by status i can do that as well if I want to create a new task, I can simply click here and I can just say, okay, this is the chapter three and I can just, you know, add the information that I want to. Let's assign it to myself, set up a date, maybe 30th and due date will be two. And after that, the status will be blue. You can actually create a different status for your different tasks. For example, you can see these are the names given to different status, but you can go ahead and give different names. Every task will have a different color just so that you know you are well organized and you have an idea how your tasks are differentiated into different categories and different colors. So this is the overview of dashboard of Smartsheet. Super easy to use once you get a familiar with it you can actually do a lot with it i just showed you the beginners tutorial for this and you can just create amazing sheets here and different charts and cards for your school or business very easily so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to create amazing sheets of your own with smart sheet make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel